Remember the company in which Sam Altman sent the letter of intent to buy AI chips that could be a competitor of NVIDIA? We're going to talk about this company in this video. This company is called Rain Neuromorphic Inc. This is the name of the company and their website is rain.ai. I'm not just here to tell you the website of the company. I'm going to share everything that I know about this company. Before that, let's go back in history, like a couple of decades back. So the field artificial neural network, ANN, started with this fundamental understanding that they want to create computations or computing systems that can emulate human brain. That is exactly why it was named artificial neural network because you know you have got the human natural neural networks here and can we create this artificial neural network that can do computations like human neural network. A lot of these words you would see neurons, hidden layers, synapses and all these kind of words borrowed from neuroscience like from your brain into computing architecture. So this has been there like for so many years and that is how deep learning came into picture and deep learning has been on the rise for so many years until recently people have gone bonkers and crazy because of rise of transformers architecture, large language models, things like chat GPT and stable diffusion, people are absolutely blown up by the things that they can create. But still there are a lot of scientists like Jan Likun who still says that with the current architecture, it is impossible for us to achieve AGA, which stands for artificial general intelligence. If your ultimatum or the North star is to achieve AGA or achieve intelligence or super intelligence better than human beings, then the current neural network architecture will not give you that. While that is one side of the thought, there is another group of people who believe that the current architecture, a uh, current computation architecture is actually the bottleneck for us to run really, really, really complex computations just like how our brains do and that is why they believe that there is a need for a new computing architecture itself. If you see most of the current deep learning works happen on NVIDIA GPUs, I mean even if you have certain options like Metal on Apple Silicon or um, uh, AMD processors or, or even on CPU, but most of the model training, most of the model fine tuning, most of the model inference actually happens on NVIDIA GPU thanks to their proprietary uh, kernel or software called CUDA. Now having said that, we do not have a very strong, a powerful and equivalent competitor for NVIDIA. This is the state of the art today. If you want computing power, you need to go to NVIDIA. If you want to have some kind of an algorithm that can do neural networks, then you need to go to something like, you know, uh, Transformers architecture, which fundamentally has a lot of uh, deep learning uh, stuff inside it, like back, back propagation and all these things. Now, in this particular scenario is where this new company comes in called Drain.ai. The company doesn't even claim that they want to create an alternative to NVIDIA GPU, just not only just says that, but they are actually pushing frontiers further saying that they want to mimic human brain, which is exactly what the entire artificial neural network, deep learning and all these things have been. And they are trying to do it through something called neuromorphic computing. So neuromorphic computing is a way to emulate brain, not by using digital systems, by using analog systems. So if you have studied computer science or at least like I didn't do a lot of good computer science when I was in my university, but I am a computer science engineer. But if you have ever studied anything related to computers or digital systems, you know, digital systems operate with zeros and ones. You switch it on. It is one. You switch it off. It is zero. How do you switch it on? You give either plus five volt or something like that, or you do not give it zero. That is switch it off. This is how digital systems work. Like everything that goes inside your computers work like that. But our brain doesn't work like that. And in fact, that is exactly why when you do an artificial neural network, you change the weights in a floating point order. So you do like 0.23, then you do 0.24. Maybe like you have got a different learning rate. Maybe you have got a different algorithm. But everything that you store inside an artificial neural network, those are the weights and those weights are floating points and that's where the concept of quantization comes in. That is where the concept of matrix multiplication comes in. That's where all the computation goes in. Now what this company claims is that while our brain can do all these hard computation that is not possible for uh, like existing computers to do, that is like uh, very hard, but also brain is doing it at a much lesser power efficiency. 
why do we need like huge data centers to run models like chat GPT and all the other things? And that is where rain.ai comes in. Now let's learn about what rain.ai is. So rain.ai is uh, of course a California based company and uh, they've raised about like $30 million, I guess. And um, Sam Altman is of course one of the investors in that, but uh, there are a lot of other names like Daniel Gross and all the others are there. Now, if you look at rain.ai, I've collected a bunch of details about whatever I could collect about the company. The first thing is like when rain.ai actually got the $25 million funding, they, they were in the news. Now they are in the news for a different reason, but back then they were in the news because they wanted to create like a brain chip, a chip that is like a brain. And Gordon Wilson, the CEO and co-founder of Rain, said that while most AI chips on the market today are digital, his company's technology is analog. So analog chips can decipher incremental information such as sound waves, okay? So the current market is dominated by NVIDIA and there are like a bunch of other startups trying to make money out of it. So this Rain chip is designed by adding a circuit called Memristor on top of silicon wafers memristor is i think new it there are there are like intel that has tried like this kind of neuromorphic computing before hp is another example that has got like artificial synapses that allows you know things to connect together so this was the information that we had got at that time this is like all we had known at that time the interesting thing is rain.ai has a bunch of things under development if you go to their website uh, simply they say that building a compute platform of future of AI, but if you go to their approach, you would actually immediately see there are a bunch of things. One, they are building a digital in-memory compute. I mean, we have already covered on this channel, More, most of you know that when you use a computer, your external hard disk is wanting to store data. There, there can be a cache memory used from that, but primary memory is in-memory that comes from your RAM random access memory. So what they are trying to do here is they are trying to say that uh, rain.ai or rain AI is pioneering the digital in-memory computing DIMC paradigm to address the inefficiencies to refine AI processing, data movement and data storage. Unlike the traditional in-memory computing designs, rain AI's proprietary DIMC cores are scalable to high volume production and support training and inference. When combined this, this with rain ai's proprietary quantization algorithms the accelerator maintains fp32 accuracy which means with a totally different hardware with their proprietary quantization algorithm you get to see no loss in accuracy when you compare it with floating point 32 which is like one of the highest forms of storing data in your artificial neural network and then they further talk about uh, something else they further talk about something else they further talk about something else so at the end of the day what they are trying to do is they're trying to have a hardware like a chip that is trying to create like a brain maybe the first version would definitely be nothing like a brain i don't know but not just the chip but they want to control the ecosystem they want to have uh, you know the semiconductor level access they want to have their own algorithm they want to have their own um, their training um, inference and uh, fine tuning process so they basically want to have all these things along with the chip that they're going to design. And I've seen a couple of interviews from their CEO. They've said like they've closely worked with OpenAI even a couple of years back. I'm not sure what is the kind of agreement that they have with OpenAI, but this seems like very interesting, but I'm not again sure how the existing algorithms like, for example, an algorithm written on PyTorch or Jax would run on their hardware because that would require some kind of porting, but it seems like um, this is, going to be like completely revolutionary in what, what it does. And in fact, you can see that AI models often fail uh, upon deployment due to inevitable mismatch in training and deployment environments. That is exactly what I spoke about. Fine tuning solves this problem, but requires devices to support high performance training. Rain AI is co-designing fine tuning algorithms with hardware to facilitate efficient real time training. This almost feels like they're almost trying to create a chip just like Nvidia has done also an accelerator chip that has like, you know, the graphics memory, but totally different architecture almost feels also like they also have like one CUDA version that they have got so that it runs seamlessly across their hardware resources. And if you see like now you don't see a lot of information, but one of the interesting things that I found is uh, one of their recruiter, like ex recruiters profile. So if you see here, our mission is to e 
make AI radically cheaper. We are the world leaders in algorithm hardware co-designed for artificial intelligence. Our roadmap begins in products 100% better than GPUs will ultimately deliver products that are orders of magnitude more cost efficient, cost effective than what is available today. We will ultimately be able to put models of the size of ChatGPT into the chips of size of a thumbnail. And the kind of roles that they're recruiting, you can see that they're covering the entire uh, system like fabrication, architecture, um, uh, semiconductors, risk, RISC, <laughs> risk V, and also you have got, uh, you know, this ML and um, AI architecture designs, all these things are there. Now, if you go, also you will see a similar thing in their job description, like the, the job openings that they have got. You can see like modeling and simulation, ML compiler, front end, hardware architect. And if you see here, you can see our products achieve, that means they already have the product, an order of magnitude improvement over the status quo by co-designing every layer of AI stack from circuits to algorithms. That is what we kind of inferred from what they have mentioned. And you can see there for investors, like I said, like Daniel Gross is <laughs> definitely a very popular name in almost every single uh, AI startup that you have got. But uh, this seems like, you know, they, they want to define the or create the next generation of AI accelerators. Now, if you want to learn more about the company, I, I would strongly encourage you to watch three videos that I link it in the YouTube description where their CEO and CTO, CEO here actually talks about um, uh, what Rain AI or Rain Neuromorphic is actually doing. I don't know if they've renamed the company or not, but this is like this video was published almost three years back during the time of COVID. Uh, not a lot of chat GPT at this point, but even in this video, he actually spe specifically mentions that they were closely working with OpenAI. So I don't know how far OpenAI's engagement goes back. OpenAI already buys a lot of compute from Microsoft. That's where like their partnership has been. OpenAI would definitely either buy compute from NVIDIA or because Microsoft is partnered with NVIDIA, they would get it. And uh, I'm not sure like how OpenAI is approaching this company, especially in terms of AGI and all the other stuff. But anyways, OpenAI has been working with this company for quite a while. That's one thing. The second one is their CTO, Jack Kendall, actually talks about what is the current disadvantage, like why back propagation would not scale up, uh, Moore's law and all the other things like he discusses in this particular podcast uh, on a channel like the AGA show. It kind of looks cool. Like I just found out this channel. So I will link this also for you. So in this video, you can learn more about the current limitations of deep learning architectures, why this may not scale up as, um, you know, as true as our brain. And he also says that there are certain fundamental concepts of deep learning that might be actually what is happening in the primitive brain, like small insects and all these things. So this podcast is actually quite interesting. And then finally, this is a 16 minute uh, uh, small interview while uh, their CEO was actually traveling to a different city. I think this also, um, goes into the detail of how he actually perceives what their company is going to do, especially in terms of like, he actually says that they're North Star. Like every company has a benchmark to compare, every company has a North Star, and their benchmark to compare is actually brain. They want to make uh, their chips computation as efficient as brain, like human brain, and they want to make computations as um, vast and um, versatile as human brain. And um, yeah, basically they're saying like they want to do everything just like brain. I, and I know like, you know, this might sound uh, very discouraging because this is what has deep learning has been for a very long time. But I'm very happy to see somebody actually collaborating on the hardware and every level of hardware, like starting from fabrication to chip design to, uh, you know, uh, like the risk architecture to uh, uh, the software kernel, and even like at the algorithm level, deep learning algorithm level or neural network, I'm happy to see somebody is working across all these things. And I, I, I guess like there is a really good potential that this might actually turn out to be something bigger than what we think in terms of compute and all the other things. The only catch here might be that we are actually, you know, building another Nvidia, which I don't think uh, a lot of Silicon Valley investors would mind because Nvidia is a cash cow and you can see that I think in the last one year, the stocks have appreciated by 800% or something like that. Absurd numbers, uh, but uh, I'm not sure how much of their architecture would be open because I could not see a single paper from their website, like um, not even like, okay, there is there is one paper here, uh, but I don't see 
like a lot of information openly being shared about how what is their architecture and all these things but i guess like the semiconductor industry has been one of the one of the industries where patents matter a lot and um, they they are not as quite open as the software front that that has been typically the case but i'm definitely looking forward to see what this company is going to be doing and uh, i'll link all the links in the youtube description but at the end of the day what rain ai is trying to do is it's trying to use neuromorphic computing to have analog systems that can do computing for you that are not um as bad as the existing system not as power hungry as the existing systems even as you go for like nvidia gpus that are that do not have a lot of bottlenecks like the current neural network algorithms have and they want to overcome all these things by having full control over the existing stack and uh, they are also hiring like if you are interested in chip ml architecture and all the other things that i do not have skills about you can definitely apply for their jobs and then see if you can be part of uh, the history in uh, designing a neuromorphic engine or neuromorphic ai chip that is probably like brain chip i hope this was helpful to you see you in another video happy prom